Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Yuan Ye and I make random videos literally about everything. So today we are going to be talking all things wigs, frontals and closures. Now today's video isn't sponsored, but I am working with my hairstylist called Melissa. I'll leave her details on the screen and in the description box. She does all my hair and one of the biggest questions that I always get asked is, who does your hair? Where do you get your hair from? How do you style your hair? So I thought, why not make a video? I did a Q&A like at the start of January and I, I did say, I got loads of questions about my, about my hair and I did say that I was gonna film a video. So here we are, finally filming this video two months later. I have three units in this video. This is the first one. It's like a real nice, frontal, a glueless frontal. There is no glue in this hair whatsoever. So if you want to find out how I created this look or how, or more about this hair in general, make sure you keep watching and make sure you subscribe if you haven't, make sure you like this video and make sure you comment down below. So this is the first unit that I'm going to show you. It's like a brown but like loads of like highlights and a little bit of the lights in it as well. I absolutely love like closure wigs because one, I absolutely hate glue in my hair. I'm really, really lazy. I love like units that you can like throw on and just like minimal styling, amazing. So Melissa made this hair, I already said this in my intro, but this is like a five by five or a six by six. I'll have everything on the screen anyways, just in case like, you know, I don't do it justice or say the, the right measurements. But yeah, I'll leave her website, everything in the description box. So I'm gonna try this on and then I am going to curl it and just talk you through the specs of the hair, what I like about it, the colors. And we're just gonna have a conversation, fill you guys in. So I'm gonna try this on right now. So put this on, I've just fixed it there a little bit. Now this is, I checked, <laughs> this is a six by six. Now what I love about, I'm just going to start my hair right looking, sorry if I'm not looking like directly in the camera, I'm like trying to like do things at the same time, but anyways what I absolutely love about these units is that it's HD, right? So basically HD, they, HD closures are different from like normal closures because like they kind of melt in more and if you're someone like me who absolutely hates gluing this is like perfect for you so like it has like so many different um tones of like brown um which is so beautiful because it just like melts in like really nicely um, and the quality of the hair is so amazing and like for someone who has done their hair like i'm literally like a hairdresser whore if i'm being serious like i've done when i came out of the villa i literally done my hair with like so many hairdressers um, just trying to find like the right person to like do my hair because when I came out of the villa I was doing so many shoots all the time and I just couldn't find someone to do my hair the way I liked like I'm if you if anyone has ever worked with me I'm like so picky especially when it comes to colors and I've been working with Melissa for like about like a year now um and like her service, amazing. She gets me all the time. And with colors, like anyone who's done my hair will know how picky I am. Like she just always gets it right. And another thing is like, I really do like trust Melissa. Like sometimes with colors, I'm like, you know, and colors for me, I mean like when I, like color for me is like blonde, right? A little bit of blonde, a little bit of brown. That's as far as I'm gonna go. Well, we did ginger before for like, one of like my In The Stars collection. Anyway, different story. But she like she gets me and she she kind of knows what I what I like without even like without telling her. So like when I say, oh, I want like my hair blonde but kind of brown, but like you know, she like she always gets the colour right. The quality of the hair is amazing. Like I have all my units, my try not to wear myself, and they just last, they last forever. And yeah, I've been working with her for a year, I really trust her. And I get a lot of questions about my units all the time. Even though I tap on this in like nearly all my pictures, people like still feel the need to ask me. And a lot of people ask whether I get my hair from Melissa or I get like a different supplier. Because I know a lot of people on Instagram use like different like hair suppliers um, and then they just get like stylists to do their hair. But I actually get everything from Melissa. So the hair is provided um, by Melissa. And then, I think I'm gonna do this again because this is a mess. Guys, this is like my first time trying to like curl my hair on camera. 
I'm gonna have to take so many breaks because the struggle is real. But anyways, so I got my hair from Melissa. Um, she colors it. Why am I struggling? So I get, yeah, I get the units from Melissa. She dyes my units and then she makes it as well. So my head is tiny. So for anyone who has like a really small head like me, what I get is I take the measurements of my head. I actually did it by myself, um, so you can too. So I think like on the website, when you go to Melissa web website, I think there's like instructions of like what your circumference is, what your name area, just like different parts of your head basically. And then you measure that yourself. You can literally get like a um, measuring tape off Amazon or you probably have one already. You just take your measurements and then you send them to her um, on the website or by email or whatever. And she just does your work for you. Um, so that's what I do. I always get my measurements because I just feel like your wig is more personal, like it's for you, it fits like a glove, especially if you're not like dyeing it. It's so important for you to get it custom made. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm doing a decent job so far. I know it looks really messy and tight. It's a journey, we are getting there. Um, but yeah, no, I absolutely love you. I like. I feel like since I came out of the villa and just in general, my hair game has just like gone up because Melissa is amazing. So I'm gonna do a few more and then I am gonna finish the rest off camera because guys, like, I didn't think about this properly. The struggle of like curling your units with like a mirror far away. Can I also say I wear glasses and I'm blind? So I'm literally doing this with my eyes closed basically. <laughs> I feel like I'm not like looking at the lens either. So this is the finished look curling with a straightener. And um, if I wanted these to stay in a little bit longer, I probably would use a wand just so it's tighter. So I went in and put like got to be um, spray on it just to last longer. So I'm gonna come closer just to show you what it looks like from the side. So this is the side of the hair. You can probably see all the highlights and low lights and all the nice tones of brown so i haven't cut the lace off completely and um, so i'm going to cut it off now and show you what it looks like but this is the hd lace this is how the curls look from the front and the side and hopefully you can get a clearer look of what the colors look like and how beautiful it bounces can you see that literally so 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 gorgeous now i'm going to cut the lace off i have these tiny scissors that i normally use just to make sure that I get it right. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do everything on camera because I told you I am very, very blind. So I'm just gonna start off and cut. See, I absolutely love this unit. Now, one thing I love and one thing I always wear is a closure wig. I've literally said that so many times, but like, I actually haven't glued this hair at all. So this is it like, obviously up without gluing and then I'll just go back and push this down and like it's so amazing because it means that like when I'm shooting if anyone else shoots I can change just like that to those people glue their hair one they don't know how to glue properly so you get like loads of like residue of glue and it just doesn't look really nice so it's really tacky and then if if you're someone who doesn't have time to like take care of the units properly, like your closure isn't gonna last as long because you're not last as long because you're not washing it regularly. And three, like if you don't know how to glue it properly and don't use the right protectants, your edges are gonna literally be here and you're gonna have no edges because you're gonna rip them off literally trying to like pull it. I've seen some people, right? They glue their hair, come home literally, and then just drag it off and try and take it off and pull up pull off their hair. I just feel like with closures, you have that luxury of literally just like pulling it up like this and back down and like, it's amazing. And I just wanna make sure that I've, I've done that properly, yeah. There we go. So this is the finished look. These are the curls. Um, yeah, I absolutely love, as you can see, curls are amazing. The quality is unreal. So I'll leave everything in the description box and hopefully I'll speak to Mel and then maybe she wants to give you a discount code for you guys to use and you get like a little bit of a discount. So fingers crossed I get that discount code please and yeah. 
So this is the second unit. Can you even? Like I feel like we need like a moment before I even like get to talking about how amazing this hair is. I just hope the camera and the lights are like just magnifying how beautiful the chocolate brown of this hair is. Like I absolutely love it. Like if you haven't noticed, I love like neutral tones, I love a lot of browns and when I do my wigs with Mel, I don't normally go for like bright colours only because personally I think it doesn't suit me and I feel like you can't get as much wear out of it. Like I see a lot of people like you know like Instagram pages doing like the purples and the blues and just for me like it's great to get that one picture but like what are you going to wear when you're going to work, what are you going to wear when you're going out to the shops, what are you going to go wear? on June 21st when the outside opens like what are you gonna wear and this is like one of those units where you can just throw on so I did get a little bit of like layers like in there I don't know if you can see it just because I feel like it's like the new thing and obviously like I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a young girl myself so I got a few layers in just to like can you actually just do you see the wave and the movement of this hair like when I say Mel has like the best quality hair and a lot of people always ask like do I get my hair from Mel or do I get it from another supplier and then Mel just does it? I get everything from Mel. The hair is from Mel. She makes the wig, she sends it out, she styles it for me. Everything is literally done by her. So again, like my other wig, this is a six by six closure. Again, for me, I don't have to do my hair. I'm very lazy. I also haven't hot combed this hair, so I'm gonna hot comb this for you as well. I went ahead and cut the lace off the closure. So this is a HD lace again, like the other one. It's a six by six. So it kind of ends here for me. Um, and it gives that illusion of like a frontal kind of vibe. And you can, I just love going like this to my hair. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like all the time. So yeah, it gives a nice like illusion of a frontal without having to glue it down at all. So I'm gonna hot comb this hair and we are going to get into this video. So this is the hot comb that I'm using. This is actually Mel's, I'm actually testing it for her. I think her hot combs are releasing in like the next like month maybe. I'll definitely let you guys know. And it's gonna be on her website regardless. So maybe follow her on Instagram and or just save the website and just keep an eye open. So I already went and turned this on just to preheat. And I'm just going to hot comb my hair just to get it like, really flat um because one thing i will one thing i'll say is i did not know how to use a hot i'm not gonna lie to you i used to be so lazy with hot combs um but just take your time and really like pull it down like you should be able to feel that heat on your head so i don't know if you can see the difference and um, I don't know how clear it is on camera, but like me looking directly in the mirror, it is a big difference and it just, it just looks neater. Do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like back in the day, remember when we used to like, what is it called? What do you call it? We used to, oh my God, what is it called when we used to like brush it? We used to back on our hair and like the bigger, the better. And now everyone's like, no, my hair has to be so flat. I remember like, does anyone remember when they used to like use like Noble and Premium? I used to be like the biggest Noble and Premium whore. And I would hot comb my hair in the back of the bathroom. I would put some hairspray in it. Remember when people used to put the hairspray on their faces all as a primer? Now I'm not gonna lie, I never joined that trend. But I know my sister still does it till this day. I just think how disgusting. But I guess those are the days. Those are the days, but yeah, hot comb is so important. I'm gonna hot comb the front of the hair, but I'm gonna do that off camera just because I am not trying to like burn myself because my mirror is all the way over there. I know you can't see, but it's literally all the way over there. So I'm gonna hot comb like the front here just off camera because I don't wanna burn myself. And I'm gonna show you the finished look. What would you guys say this color is a color? two or color four or color four i was going to say four b the color two or color four so when mel gave me this hair i was like mel this is color two like i was like this is definitely color two but she was like no this is a color four it's really really bright i have no idea how much i'm going to come closer just so you can really see the color 
Um, I don't know how much it's picking up um, the colour, but um, I think this is a colour too. Either way, regardless, I absolutely love this. So this will be available on um, Mel's website if you want to purchase it. Um, so this is how it looks. And just so you see how beautiful the closure is, um, HD, honestly unreal, and it looks perfect. So I'm gonna hack home the front of the hair just to maybe give myself just a nice little lift there. And I'm gonna come back to you and show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. So happy with it again. Easy to style, like easy to put on. And yeah, I just love having a collection of wigs with wigs that I can actually wear and I'm not like not crazy colours. I just feel like everyone needs staples of like a blonde or a brown bob, long brown hair, long black hair, short black hair, or maybe it's just me. Maybe a lot of people will disagree and be like, no, you absolutely need like colours like red and blue. But for me, I feel like these are the staples that every single girl needs. Everyone needs a six by six. I feel like we need to like stop wearing the 360 units. They're not good for you. Or get a frontal that you don't have to glue down like the one that I'm gonna show you now. Um, Cause a lot of people don't believe me when I say sometimes I do wear frontals, but I don't glue them down. Everyone's like, oh my God, I don't believe that. Like you have to glue your frontals down. So I thought it'd be great to show you a frontal that I got from Mel that I wear sometimes and I feel like I don't have to glue it down. Um, and yeah, I think it's just important to be honest. Like sometimes if I do wear a frontal and I do glue it down, I promise you I'm only gluing down like the sides of it and that is about it. Um, so I'm gonna show you that one in the, in the next one. So I'm just gonna stop talking because I feel like you're tired of me talking. I'm gonna move on to my last unit, which is a little bit of, well, I'd say color for me. Keep that in mind, color for me. And it's a frontal. I'm gonna style it, talk to the specs, and I'll see you next time. So this is the final one. It is HD as well. It's a closure, not closure, what am I saying? It's a frontal, um, as you can see there. But what's so amazing about it is, because I don't glue it down, it's important for me to have these bands that are also adjustable. I hope you can see it there. Probably just come a little bit closer so you can see it. So these bands are adjustable and you can fit them to your head, which is really cool. I actually haven't seen bands like this before. And just so you can get a clear um, close up of the frontal. So this is the HD frontal and this is how wide it is. So I'm just gonna put this on my head now and, and show you guys what it looks like. So I've just put it on. I'm just gonna hot comb the top again. I'm using Mel's hot comb. So yeah, so this is a 13 by six um, frontal. So with this, I get like a deeper parting as you can hopefully see um, my part is just a little bit deeper than you get with um, a 13 by 6 so that's why I opted with this one again this is available on Melissa's website um, this exact one you can get it coloured like I did if you want again I used to like love blacks but I'm trying to be like a little bit more open to like colour because I think it suits me a, a little bit better like I used to love I've got so much hair on my. I used to love black hair, and I don't know why because it doesn't even suit me. I remember when I used to have like black hair, my mum used to be like, "You look like a witch." Like one thing I love about African parents is like they will tell you the painful truth, and I would be like, "Where are you going? That hair doesn't suit you. You look like a witch." And um, and she was right. Like brown hair does just not suit me at all. One thing I love about funny story is I actually don't know how to um, curl my hair with a flat comb. I only learned like when I was in the villa. So when, when I was in the villa, um, they took all like my hair products away from me. So I didn't have a hot comb, I didn't have a curler and stuff like that. And they were like, oh no, you'll have that in the villa because it was sponsored by GHD. So I remember I had a curly unit when I was in the villa and then it was time to get ready, as you do. Didn't have a hot comb, so my hair was literally rising. Couldn't get a hot comb for days. Um, and then another thing was, I didn't know how to curl my hair with a straightener. There were no curling wands. Um, 
and I remember getting dressed thinking, oh my actual God, and no one knew how to curl with a straightener because what they had was like, GHD has like this product for like, it's more, it's more for like white hair. What they do is like, it's kind of like a blow dryer. You put it in, it goes and then it gives you a really nice curl. But I couldn't do that because <laughs> it wasn't my hair. So basically I had to learn how to curl my hair on the spot with a GHD um, and it was a real small, like these are huge, so they're probably, they're like great for curling hair, but the, the one that I was provided was like, you know, the, the really thin plates. And when I tell you it was an absolute, absolute disaster, absolute disaster. So basically, I was doing my hair and then remember I told you I had like these like two bits that I was gonna plait my hair with. I was doing like a horrendous job of patting myself. So my best friend lives with me. So I just got her to just like plait it going back and she did an amazing job. So here is what it looks like. I'll come closer. Hopefully you can see. So we just did two plaits going down. I also put um, some mace on my frontal and um, just to set it. So I'm gonna take it off now. I'll probably come a bit closer so you can see it. Um, so I'm just gonna take this off now. Again, as I said, there's literally no glue on this. This band is also from Melissa. Um, so, so this is the frontal. This is how it is. I don't have it glued, like literally guys. Can you see that? It's not glued at all. Um, so yeah, it just sits sits like that and I absolutely love it um so this is the finished look again if I was going to wear a frontal I would only ever get one from Melissa just because I like I can't I hate gluing my hair I just like ease like I feel like you're not going to believe me till I go like that like see that is not glued one bit at all um, and then I just tighten the straps that I showed you at the beginning, just made it tighter so it fits. Um, and it's, as you can see, even the front, it still fits really nicely, even though I'm pulling on it insanely. And like, guys, I'm gonna put the comb through it. Just cause like some people have trust issues like I do. Um, so as you can see there, there is absolutely, there's no glue, it's just really tight, it's really secure. Um, again, curled with a straightener. And this is a finished look and I absolutely love it. Um, easy to achieve and that's what I love about using Mel's, ha Mel's hair. So basically, a lot of people are like, I want to try, I want to start trying wigs. I'm a beginner, I don't know who to go to, I don't know what styles to use six by six, or if you want a frontal, get it from Mel. You don't have to glue it. So I'll leave the discount code that I got on the screen um, as well. All the details will be in the description down below of like the website, the products that I used, and also the specs of all three wigs that I showed you in this video. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you like the styles. I absolutely love the wigs. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. Hopefully you can see there the colors, the frontal, amazing. So I hope you like this video. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, let me know what units you're getting, let me know what units you love, and I will see you guys in my next video.